Hi, I'm so excited to be here at AGRF 23 with David Nabarro. David, what are you excited about today for AGRF's opening day? First, it's changed the name. This is not AGRF. This is AFSF, Africa Food Systems Forum, because we're taking advantage of all the recognition that food is connected to everything. Second, we've got people not just from all over Africa, all over the world, come to celebrate the transformation in African food systems and at the same time to work together. But third, we've got some challenges, yep. big challenges. Climate change is just changing everything. And so we're gonna be working together. How can food systems be resilient and effective and feed people despite the impact of climate change and unfortunately the many wars that are going on at the moment. What are you um, hoping to see today in some of the messages and what are you hoping to see from uh, the conversations out of here? Agriculture is vital, you've got to produce food, you've got to feed people. But the environment is vital too. We've got to make sure that we're preserving water and not contributing to climate change. And we've got to make sure that the food that's produced really nourishes people, that crops that are good and nutritious. Taken together and getting women stronger roles in food systems, we've got to have a rounded view. And I think we're going to see more and more of that in this meeting. And this meeting is important because it sets the scene for African agriculture for the year after. And we're expecting to see real focus on food systems this time. And we're just a last comment. We're at the halfway point of the SDGs and you were so critical to the, the adoption of the SDGs by, um, as an agenda for the world. What are you hoping to see out of coming out into New York and some of the conversations? Thank you. The Sustainable Development Goals are part of the 2030 Agenda, which was a completely different approach to development. Universal, people-centred, interconnected and through partnerships. Now, we've been hit by some terrible headwinds in the last few years. COVID-19, accelerating climate change, conflict and the cost of living crisis. And so trying to recover and to react and regenerate, which is the theme of this conference, is key to looking ahead and getting the energy right, not necessarily to hit all the sustainable development goals by 2030, but getting the direction of development right. And this is where Africa, frankly, can lead the world. And I'm looking forward to the energy of this meeting feeding into what we're calling the Sustainable Development Goals Summit, which takes place in two weeks' time in New York. And that's a very open and exciting, inclusive meeting. So I hope everybody comes. This is so great. So, and um, I'm excited to see how we can really drive this forward. So um, all power to you, David, hoping for very important conversations that really accelerate change. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Paul, and thanks for all you do.